Hello, this is Thomas O. Mills. The Hopi ceremonial cycle begins on the winter solstice when the sun reaches its standstill point and then begins its journey back towards the summer solstice. It is at this time that Orion shines down through the Hopi Kiva overhead doorway and the Hopi ceremonial cycle begins. In Egypt, near the pyramid complex, there's a site called the Valley of the Kings and these underground chambers also have overhead doorways. The largest chamber, called KV-5, has been packed solid with gravel from reoccurring floods for many years. In September 1998, National Geographic documented what it thought the complex might look like if it was completely restored. When I look at the outline of the complex, I see a hieroglyph of a male figure. I believe it's Orion. The overhead doorway has a stairway that leads down in the chamber. This would be his penis. He has two arms, two legs, and two feet with leggings. His midsection has a chamber on the right side with one pillar. On the left side of the midsection of the chamber, it has six pillars. This relates to the fact that the Hopi believe the Creator said he would establish life here on earth six times, and the seventh time would be his time to rest. There is a mural of Osiris on the wall exactly where Orion's head would be located. I believe there should be another chamber located behind this mural. Please refer to the outline of the hieroglyph in the middle of this page. If someone was standing at the bottom of the stairway looking up at the dawn on the winter solstice, he might be looking up at the location where the crater came from in space. I realize that the winter solstice begins on December 21st and the sun journey starts back on December 24th or 25th. Those are the dates I would watch the sunrise from the bottom of the stairway. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.